Hello and welcome to a quick update on something I uploaded many months ago at this point. So I've been working very slowly on a hexadecimal coded storage system. Um, that's the actual like storage hall, but I'll get to that in a minute. That's what I've been spending most of my time on. Um, since the last time I uploaded this, there's been redstone changes. So I've had to tweak this a little bit. Um, there's basically now two comparators from each chest. You could probably get away with one and doing that kind of thing, but I've had some problems where the comparator just doesn't tell when the chest changes, so I'm going to stick to two comparators because they're not that expensive, especially with the new um, piglin trading. Um, but yeah, this is working again, so I've got no block plumbed in. If we watch up here, and if you keep an eye on the power, sim sig power value at the right-hand side, that's a 14, resets to zero when the new value is coming in. It should do. Yep. That'll reset and then the new value should come in. Which apparently is a zero. Or is it because I just changed something here? Did I just reset that? <laughs> is there a note block in here? I think that's with me playing with it. That that's come up like that. Um yeah, I don't know where the now block's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be, yeah. It should really be a 2 there. Let's try it again. I think it's because I was playing with it. It worked fine, like 10 seconds ago. So yeah, it resets it to 0. Power 14 comes up. There we go. Yeah, so that's a 2. So that's now got the value of 2. And then that can go off to the storage system to sort of tell which coordinates it is. Um, that's what I showed off last time. Um, this is kind of what I'm showing off this time, but I'm just going to stop over here first. So these are some of the like components I'm using. So this is a slightly modified version of Pala Pala's um, like variable item sorter that it basically splits messy shulker boxes like this one down into nice and neat single item shulker boxes. Whoops, like these. So there's just glass chests, blah, blah, blah. And then it also separates the non-stackables. So I've currently got like a bucket emptier set up in there. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool thing. Uh, Pala Pala, honestly, without half of his stuff, I would be nowhere near with this. So props to him. Um, this is one of the modifications I've made is I've had to put these hopper minecarts in. Um, mainly because I don't know if he made his version before the hoppers changed hitbox but I've had a few items land on this lip here which obviously in a storage system you're losing both a shulker box and whatever's been sorted in there which could be could be your precious netherite in these these uh, these times so we don't want any losses so that's just to grab it basically as soon as it comes out but yeah this is all working good um the other stuff which is this and I've kind of just compiled it on top there this is by Samos the Sage on YouTube, and this is like a shulker box filter for one thing, but it also loads the items up into their own shulker box. So basically we'd have just whatever shulker boxes you would dump into the system, like after a mining trip, would just go straight through, or whatever blocks you put in from your inventory would get put in a shulker box for that to deal with. Um, from that point onwards you'd have shulker boxes full of individual items which can then be like like coded with that i guess so you'd get your two coordinates out and then they'd get fed over here so this isn't really set up to any smart redstone yet this is kind of just like i'm pulling all the levers to set the coordinates still but um it's working as a concept so like uh, these are all the values of the redstones so obviously you've got a value of zero you can like this, but it's not going to change out. Uh, <laughs> I just put it there for completion's sake. But you basically input a redstone value here, and it selects which which wall and vertical row we're on in this system. So I'll just show you the interface. So if this is what you'd be basically be seeing while playing the game, you've got all these chests. Each of them is like a unique coordinate. So this is I don't know what it is. What have we got? This is four zero of the coordinates for that one um, and stuff like that. And then, yeah, all your items would get sorted into these automagically. Uh, but yeah, if we plumb a value in, I'll show you how this works. So if we say put a six in, it's automatically 
given a six to all of the levels and then selected which vertical row it wants to be on. But then on the top, there's an extra little bit of uh, redstone logic, which basically resolves down to these four digits. And if any of these digits are what we're inputting, it opens this trapdoor. It does that all the way around, so this one doesn't have a six. So that's closed, so the item carries on along top. And because it's a six, it can fall down here and it should be like the second one to the bottom. So it's a little bit hard to see, um, but you can see there's like iron trap doors there. If the trap door is closed, which it is down there, the items land on top and then they get aligned against a pickle or a chest. It's a weird thing to say you're aligning against a pickle, but <laughs> it's very helpful in this case. And then, yeah, it goes down to the ice paths here and then depending on the column value it'll get sorted into that i'll just go over the column values in a second but one thing i am a little bit disappointed in is that i've got to use normal ice here it's basically the only ice that you can put a chest directly underneath and getting it into like a, a nice and compact interface like this was really important because i really don't think i'd want to use one that's in like a really long corridor or where the chests are so spread apart you can barely reach them this i feel like is it's on the upper limit of like a nice usable size for me um where i think i would be happy you know running around grabbing stuff for builds or whatever um i really like the size of it uh let's go to the column system though so that's the row system so that's where like this redstone signal comes in this other system uses a little bit of a different strategy so it's actually very similar to that one down there but i'm using tokens so i'm going to use like a red coder down there to resolve that second digit into like a gold token so i'll just be a dropper dispensing these um into this minecart which if we send it around is it all set up right yeah this is still very manual as well but um it uses a very similar thing where it just grabs the item that can stack on it and it causes an update to that row so you can see each four rows all of these redstone dusts on the end are now off which has caused an update to the entire row so if we go down the side you can kind of see it a bit clearer so you can see the redstone block there raised which has unlocked that hopper if we can get in here we can see this red comparators unlocked which has unlocked that hopper and it does that on all the sides and all of the rows um there is a little bug in this at the minute thanks to the redstone changes i think it's the redstone changes that's caused this it might just be me um but i'll go over that in a sec um, but yeah if we put an item in now which is this whole shebang up here and let's pretend what did we put in we put four zero i think no we put six zero in um yeah if we put this shulker box in um it can handle standard items as well it'll just keep spitting them out in batches but for the minute i'm just going to use full shulker boxes so yeah this is the batching system there you go there's the thing and it should find the section with the six should keep going should run over there and it'll fall down here uh let's see if i can catch it so you can see it kind of coming down there it's gone along there aligned itself along the pickle it's actually gone in that first chest which is exactly where we wanted it to go there we go so you can see it's kind of it's it's kind of working <laughs> um yeah i'm pretty damn pleased with it obviously there's a long way to go with like hooking all the other systems up so the actual like workflow of it would be it goes in this chest it goes into this thing which sorts it into individual shulker boxes then it gets sent over to there to find its coordinates then that shulker box that gets shipped up here to be dispensed into its correct chest and then it resets to do the next one and then the next one and then the next one so i'm honest i'm seeing so many problems with it with like unmove unloading chunks but i'm honest i'm just not bothered i just want to see it working at this point <laughs> um but yeah i'll just quickly show you sort of how it works on the side here with the columns so obviously where let me just reset it actually Ooh, where am i banging the head yeah so just sending that off basically resets it puts those tokens back in the chests and locks all the hoppers so by default all of the hoppers on each column are locked by the redstone blocks by comparators comparators again um what's this one these repeaters down here and it all basically runs off this column here so 
with what like cauldrons glass solid blocks um ignore this for now that's kind of part of the problem i've had um i think this will fix it uh it's just this that bottom row that'll need it but i'll go over that in a second um but basically if we were to i can do a manual update so if i were to update that column there you can see that one's unlocked this one is unlocked that one's un, uh, unpowered sorry that one's unpowered and then down here that one's unpowered so it's basically sent that entire column upwards so now the solid blocks where there were transparent blocks and there's cauldrons where there were no cauldrons and it's kind of like a it's hot it's like a little piston feed tape almost but just a, a one dimensional one um but it basically allows the signals and allows the locking of those hoppers um now i'm sure some of you have noticed this comparator is going that way um this is so we can have like a read on every chest so this is something i'd like to put in down the down the line is like say you have a chest that's reached this point of fullness um it would be really cool for the system to that is if we're putting individual items in at that point it would be really cool if the system was able to tell you that or tell the system that and then start filling a shulker box full of that item so say you have automatic stone coming into your farm you've filled up half of the double chest so you filled up a single chest of it which is decent it's not a bad amount of, of stone but if you could have the entire bottom full of shulker boxes full of stone you've then increased the amount of stone you can store in one double chest by a hell of a lot don't make me do the maths it's late <laughs> um so yeah that's that's what these comparators are for so basically once a column is unlocked let me just manually do one again it basically allows the path for that signal to get through so that is now reading the chest passing through there reading passing through there it's reading and then it's minusing that off a full powered comparator so at the output here if we put a dust there it should be it's 14 because there was one item in that chest um i believe was it one stack yeah there's one stack of items in that chest so if that was if we did the next one along was it yeah so if we where am i if we reset that one and then set that one up that should now be much lower which it is a seven so in theory the the, the groundwork's laid for being able to like bolt batch shulker boxes together um but i did find an issue today um i think it is due to the redstone changes maybe but basically for these rows here i had to do like a quite a lot of like crossing back and forth with the redstone just to fit it all in um but these comparators don't seem to be able to let's reset it again do that one let's do that one comparators didn't seem to be able to read through a solid block there anymore which i'm sure they used to be able to so like that comparator does not see that dust at all um which i think i'm just gonna have to put a target block in and that does seem to solve it and it is only every other block so i think i've got a fix it's just getting in there to to plumb it all in basically but um yeah i'm uh i'm pretty damn pleased with it so far at least because i think i'm starting to root iron out all the bugs with it um but yeah, I think I'll probably call that a video. Have I showed it working? I think I have. <laughs> um, let's just plumb another coordinate in. Why not? Let's have a bit of fun. Whatever that is, not even going to look. Now let's look. It's the only way we can prove it. So that's a C. And then let's choose another value. So if I get an empty inventory for one thing. And let's get an A. Let's get that out. Put it inside the hopper minecart obviously this would all be automated send that off and then whatever we put in so you can see that is the row, the column for a should do that on all sides so it's done it there it's done it there it's done it there and then let's just put this glass in again Oop, control click so yeah white stained glass going in that should spit it out in theory again would batch it up if it was individual items with the door and stuff um, if not it's just going to go down the first one <laughs> do i have the wrong one done oh it's a c i just can't read <laughs> was it a c i can't remember um but yeah so it went down the first one 
which is over here, which corresponds to these rows, and it was this one. Uh, so let's just check these chests in the column. There's a the glass. Cool. So it did work. I think I just, yeah, I put an A in this one, didn't I? And I forgot which letter I'd put in. Um, but then if we reset it, it'll basically unplumb that. And yeah, it's good to go for the next one. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, flood of information on what I've been working on very slowly. Um, I'm going to hopefully get this done at some point fairly soon. So um, yeah, swing around the channel in a, in a month or two. And uh, hopefully I'll have another another update on this. Maybe it'll all working. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any ideas on how to improve it or if you're going to have a go yourself, um, please let me know in the comments. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.